Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you from episode 23 of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had just found out that I could have found the jailer's key right over there. And instead, I just killed the jailer for no real reason. I mean, technically, I can get through that and it'd be fine, but... Well... You know, it's just a matter of principle. If you're going to try and do it stealthily, don't kill anyone. That's basically what I'm saying. But, uh, it seems I'm not alone down here. So, uh, I'm going to be doing this kind of carefully. Also, I'm trying a new setting with the microphone. So, if you guys can't hear me as well, it's because I'm actually turned it up. Or at least the microphone itself. So, I'm going to be able to lean back and not screw up my back as much. Because before I had to lean forward and it was really bad on my back and all that. Um, where am I supposed to go exactly? Oh, it was over there. It was over here. That's where I was supposed to go. And I think whoever that blip is, whatever it is, is probably down there. So, hopefully we don't run into anything. Or maybe it's just in a different building entirely. Who knows? Hopefully it's a different building entirely. Use the key. There we go. It, yeah, it's a different part of the building entirely. It's way over there. So don't even need to worry about it. Now Harlan's friend is right... Oh. Here. Yeah, she is gone. Eyes are pretty, though. Well, pretty for a ghoul. I mean... I'm not going to say that she isn't beautiful, but it's not my thing. But I don't blame those who do, and I don't think it's wrong. God, I'm, I've started off this episode terribly. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I should shut the fuck up. <laughs> that is what I should do. Okay. I'm just completely astounded at the new microphone so it's just throwing off my whole thing well at the new microphone setting I didn't even know I could set it to that nope oh, let's go sneaky and let's put this away for right now and there's the one that was setting off the blip and stealth boy uh, first I need to do a stim pack because I was running low on health forever. I'm gonna be heading over to Harland real quick and do it as quickly as possible because I do not want to trigger any of these uh, da, 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 nightkin. There we go. That's their name. There's Davison. And this is Harland. Did you find my friend? Yes, unfortunately. I see. Well, spare me the details. I can, I... and I will. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. All right. You did your part. Okay. So I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside. Sounds good. Sorry about that, man. But now I can start dealing with the traps that he laid out that would otherwise screw me. Very, very much so. Um, speaking of which, I do need to kind of put on my uh, Swath Gambler hat for the perception boost. Uh, do all those. There we go. Yeah, he's heading out. And deal with all those. They also give me a little XP, which is nice. Um... I do not have enough explosives for that. Uh-oh. Guess he's fighting a few of them. That's not good. That's not good at all. That was not supposed to be part of the plan. Hopefully it doesn't screw anything. Um, we're going to see if I can get rid of those with... Uh, Patriot's cookbook. 
Now let's disarm and collect the mine. I want to see what mines these are. No, they're just regular frag mines. Is that it? Is that all? Really? Well, he was able to hide them pretty well. I'll give him that. But Jeez. Uh, tripwire. Uh, disarm that. Disarm the rigged shotgun. And the rigged shotgun. And the rear panel. I cannot disarm that. But I don't need to because I know it's booby trapped. So. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't see that mine. God damn. Fuck me. Okay. Um. I don't have anything for medicine. I have no doctor's bags either. Fuck. I'm gonna have to see a doctor as soon as I get done with this shit. God damn it. Oh no. Oh god, if I run into another one, I'm screwed. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Pick those up. Oh, I should have known better. Oh, I should have known better. I know I'm a dum dum. One would think I would know better. God damn it. Oh god, I am fucking hobbling. Red roach meat. I guess this is where he was eating and where he was uh, surviving the whole thing. The whole thing. Ugh. I'm damaged. Don't make fun of me. Okay, a bunch of rounds that I won't use, but I can sell. A uh, bunch of jet, too. bunch of chems. I guess he was a heavy chem user. Oh. Yeah, I can't jump anymore. I cannot jump at all anymore because my legs are broken. Uh, activate the terminal. Shipment mistake. First off, let me say that everyone here is really excited about the merger. It's super to be part of a company as exciting as Robco. Have we got some kinks in the supply chain? Yesterday, a bunch of crates got delivered here containing two gross device, two gross of devices called Stealth Boys. Is it okay if I ask what these things are? Do they really make you invisible? That sounds wild. What will Robco think of next? Let me know if the shipment came here by mistake. No problem if it didn't. I bet you can have a lot of fun with these. Thanks, Bill Martin. Oh boy. This is gonna go well. To all the staff. In light of yesterday's upsetting events, all employees are hereby directed to give a thorough reading to Repcon's sexual harassment and workplace behavior policies. Someone used the stealth boy for the wrong things. Also, while it is not explicitly stated in the employee handbook, unauthorized use of military hardware against fellow employees is grounds for immediate termination. Sincerely, Daniel Kivet. Oh boy. Someone fucked up. Shipment sent back. Hi, Robco Supply. We are sending back two crates of devices labeled Stealth Boys back to you. According to the manifest, each crate... To each crate contained one gross, which is 144 apparently, of the devices. As a result of employee misbehavior, not mine, one crate was opened and is missing five stealth boys. Sorry about that. And sincerely, Sanjeev Ka Rajan? Yeah, that's Rajan. Okay. Custodian. So, there are no stealth boys in this place. The Nightkin are here for nothing. Yay. And the stealth boy wore off. And I am broken so hard, and I don't know why I'm looking for stuff, and I know there isn't... Whoop. Bottle caps. At least I can have some money in this pain of mine. Okay. Oh, I can jump. It's just not very well. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Time to sneak it, which means turn off the light. Jeez, it's not good. Um, they're over on the other side of the wall, so I don't need to worry about that. Just need to talk to Davison. Oh, no. Oh, Harland got deaded. Jeez. God damn.
Antler sings for stealth boys. Uh, you found them? There is no stockpile of stealth boys in this building. Liar! The envoy said stealth boys here. Antler read it out loud to me. The stealth boys were sent here by mistake, then sent back. But invoice note said stealth boys were here. Why can't that note be true? Because life but happens. Antler, but human could be lying. He's stealing the stealth boys for itself. Oh, Antler, you trust so uh, easy. Himself. Your lucky day, okay. human. Antler, believe you. Nikon will follow the new note to find stealth boys. Better be there. Okay. And they're dealt with. And sorry to Harland. I tried my best, dude. But you can't deal with this sort of shit all on your own, man. Especially not in hardcore. I wish there was something I could lay over him. He was something. He was a, he was a guy with jokes, and I liked him for that. Uh. Harlan's key probably was for the door, wasn't it? And I don't think there was any other sort of thing around here. Shit. Well, I'm already broken. It's fucking... Why not? Okay. Head to a doctor immediately after I talk to... Frickin'... What's-his-face? Jason Bright. There we go. What's-his-glow? <laughs> That would be more right. Huh. There we go. Sleeping in a rented or owned bed will give you a well-rested bonus that boosts your earned XP for several hours. Alright. That's something to do. And yeah. Whole bunch of bodies. Whole bunch of shit I don't want. Uh, I have Hydra, don't I? I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah. No! Damn it. Become addicted to Hydra. How much did it repair me? Not much. Very basic. Okay. I will definitely need to see a doctor for both addiction now and healing myself. God damn it. Well, at least I have the caps. Alright. The distinctive Black Ranger combat armor consists of the Desert whoop, Ranger's traditional trench coat. That's about it. That I, that's all I got to read out of that. And Jason Bright's over there. There you are. Talk to me. Is the way clear? It is. The demons are gone. Praise the creator. And bless you, wanderer. Could you bless me more? I need clear. health here. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. Okay. I hope you will come find us there, wanderer. There is much to be done. I'm sure there is. Oh, all of them are going down there. Means I can take this stuff. I don't need to. At least for the rad reasons. There we go. That's all I needed of that. Oh man. Oh. Locker. Oh, that didn't have anything good. And suffering from hydro withdrawal. Yay! Not. Um shit. Fuck. They didn't mean to do that. But, I mean, they're all gone anyway. I might as well, but didn't mean to do it right then. Doctor's bag. I need scalpel and forceps. That's what I still need. Out of everything. As well as, you know, skill and medicine, but that's besides the point. Um, what does Hydra Addiction do exactly? It healed all my legs. I guess it was just a slow heal. Well, that's something good. But effects. Hydro withdrawal ruins my endurance by three points. That's not good. That's not good at all. 
Okay, let's look in here. Doctor's bag. Ah, jeez. Over encumbered now. Do I have any fixer? Yes. Temporary addiction removal. And now it's time for more healing stuff, so down a couple Sunset Sarsaparillas. There we go. And we'll go down. Okay, whoop. All right. This place is kind of a maze if you don't know them. The fuck? Uh. I guess that's an effect of the fixer. I've never actually used fixer myself. I've normally just held on to it. But. Hmm. Maybe it's an effect of the fixer. Yeah. There we go. Jump down. There we go. One would think I'd be a little more v ginger with my body considering what I just went through. But, you know. Fuck that. <laughs> Alright, we'll go down here. Alright. Guns determines your effectiveness with any weapon that uses conventional ammunition. Oh, there's the fixer again. Alright, so we just follow the ghouls and space yeah. outfits. I'll praise the great journey. I'll praise the great divine will. Okay then. Alrighty. Jeez, that fixer effect will mess with my head. That's for sure. Um Yeah, this is the way. Don't know why the barrel was put there. It wasn't there the first time. Um, let's see, is there anything I might have missed? Now that I think about it, missed that wrench. That fixer is going to be the death of me. Or at least the insanity of me. Well, further insanity. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. And here is mission control for the ghouls. Is there anything I can make? Nope. Okay. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. Okay. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our mm -hmm. preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. Mm -hmm. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Okay, are you seriously going to make your great journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Those rockets will convey you and your flock straight into the ground. <laughs> I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. Whatever you say, let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. Mm -hmm. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became oh. clear that the Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that, is that rude. two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are redeemers both. So you're going to leave Chris behind. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. 
The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. You've been using Chris. That's despicable. It is the Creator's will, and I must submit. There is no malice in it. We would take him with us if we could. Goodbye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. I'm sure you will. Alright. Ooh, there's a fixer again. Come on, Chris. Jason says that I am Whoa. to cooperate with you Blurry. on the final task. Like me without my glasses. The <laughs> so the Great Journey will use those rockets. Obviously. Mm -hmm. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. Mm -hmm. Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. Jeez, I cannot talk to you in this site. There we go. Are you ready to get started? Okay. How can I help? I was close to completing work Jeez, on the that rockets was horrifying. before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent mm -hmm. and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. Ah. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As right. for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Okay. I'll track down the thrust control modules. Because those will be quicker. Alright. Anything else? Can you give me any tips for my current task? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Mm hmm So, the radioactive ruins would probably be where the isotope would be. And... A junkyard would probably be a good place to look for those. Later. Yeah, later. And uh, we'll call this episode good for now, since we're pretty much over time. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. I post them daily. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And, you know, share and comment so I can talk to you guys and we can bring more people to talk to. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat. Playing games for you.